Uh, every time I've always been with Thomas, Samantha's always called, checking up on her father. Um, that's gone on for about uh, four years. Every time I was with uh, Thomas. So getting back to the question, uh, no. I went to Graceland a year ago for mm -hmm. our high school reunion. And I thought what a great time this would be to do a similar thing in Montecito and Los Angeles. So I told Thomas, hey, I have a great idea since we're not doing, you know, the, the show right now. We have, you know, basically put remarkable friendship on ice until he gets better. So I told him about the tour and he said, uh, I think, <laughs> I think you have something there. Now, I said, maybe we'll go see you. And he said, oh, you know, I don't, I'm not really up to that right now. And besides people may expect to see me and I may not be up for that. And so I go, oh, okay. So he knew about the tour. I brought it up three months ago, sort of right after South Park did the, uh, the privacy you know, tour, yeah, the international privacy right, which, tour. Which only, it only jogged my memory to do it. Not that my, my tour was going to make fun of anybody for any reason. And, um, so I, okay. I went ahead and okay. did this I, under so I understand when, uh, that. So, so, so let's, let's cover that off first. Uh, Sam sure. Markle, uh, is this too in any way endorsed by, by the Markle family? Well, I got to well, say... Well, it's not endorsed at all by the Markle okay. family. But what okay. I got to ask let's, the mirror... Let's let Samantha come in. Is, is, the, is the mirror asked me, you told Thomas about the, the tour... Did he disapprove? And I go, okay. no, he didn't disapprove. Okay. I okay. told I I suggested going 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 to see him, and I said I'm not going to be up to it. Okay, so, understand, Carl. So let's not, let Samantha come in. Let's let Samantha come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put the pedal to the metal right here. Um, I've been speaking with him every day. First of all, you haven't been in regular contact with him over four years, so don't overquote right. yourself and don't take license. Furthermore, there are rumors out there that you reportedly said that you were the only one qualified to speak for the Markles and that you were a go-between between Megan's camp and our family. Whatever those rumors are, let's put those to bed right now. That's not true. Um, and so if you did discuss this with my father, I can tell you in no uncertain terms that, you know, him not agreeing with you or showing any interest isn't an acquiescence and it doesn't mean that he wasn't against it he would never in a million years do anything like this so you know from my standpoint no. more power to you it's a free country you can drive whatever bus you want around hollywood and montecito you can take a nudist colony on a tour bus <laughs> do whatever you want just don't attach our family name to it i mean it, you know it's it's such a stretch and furthermore you know, to hear about this, I hope you've got your liability insurance and you've got, you know, your business license and everything in order because that's a lot of driving people around who could twist their ankles, get sick. You know, you're taking on a huge liability. So, you know, I hope I hope this is good. More power to you. But we definitely have nothing to do with it. Okay. And I think it was kind of. No, I think it was really easy to put that out there. OK, Carl, can, can no. I just I will let you respond to Samantha, but I think it's also also sure. important that we ask about the fact that you feel the Sussex squad are now trying to shut down this tour in some way, even though it's a capitalist right. venture. And well, the couple of rumors we got to stop right now, there is no bus tour. I have a luxury Infiniti QX SUV. So I'll hmm. be taking six people at a time, a private custom tour. And the the Markle name was only described who who I was in the in the description. But what happened was there was uh, someone um, who will go nameless right now. Uh, he ha has a YouTube channel and he thought it was a great idea to um, poke fun of the South Park cartoon and actually go up there on a tour, unbeknownst to me, like three months ago. And 
he got the tour shut down. And so when I launched this tour, I had no idea that went on. So, and that person got very jealous of me that has this YouTube channel. Okay. And poked Christopher Boozy with a, a DM on Twitter and said, Hey, how are you going to let this yeah. Carl Larson do okay. the Royal Celebrity So, so, so tour Carl, just to clarify, Carl, me? just to clarify, is there going to be any harassment of Meghan and Harry? Because that's what Christopher Boozy is suggesting, but I don't trust what Christopher Boozy says, but that's what he is saying. Right. I think that was only because Christopher Boozy thought I was associated with this other, okay, I understand. you know, jerk. Samantha, the- okay, I understand. Samantha, um... Do you think that it's appropriate for there to be a tour around your sister's house? Is, is, is that an appropriate thing? You know, from what I remember, is certainly a paparazzi. If there's a public street, they can be on the street. But when it becomes harassment and if you are taking in money for it as a spectacle, yeah, then I think the city of Montecito and my sister would have something to say about that because you're profiting off of crowding their space. It's not like you're just driving by, you know, taking pictures, but a a crowd of people sitting out in front of your house is kind of egregious. Um, And so I'm gonna say, Carl, there were rumors out there there that you reportedly said that you were the spokesperson for our family and that my father would be out there, you know, greeting tourists and shaking their hand and having lunch with them. Oh, poppycock. So none of that's true. That's if that's true. fake news, if that's fake news, Carl, you need to get with those news media sources uh, and read them the right act. So I, you know, I'm just gonna yeah. tell it like it is. It's not true. And you know, whatever you decide to yeah. do with your business license is your business. But well, yeah. And that's... actually, Carl, just yeah. finally, what is happening with the tour? Has it been cancelled now? So, because I so, believe a website has actually taken it down. Yeah. So the outrage of this is actually. Once uh, Christopher Boozy got this message from this YouTuber saying, hey, I'm jealous of this Carl Larson, shut his tour down like you shut my down. Christopher Boozy sent these messages to uh, Tripling where I had it. And I also had it on a website called Viator. And they, they just deleted my account. And then I sent a message saying, hey, how come my account's deleted? And I thought I perhaps not get a response back because I thought perhaps, you know, perhaps Megan did it. And they actually responded and they said, due to the social media outrage, we do not want to be associated. So they confirmed uh, confirmed it was because of social media. uh, Interesting stuff. And and Carl Larson, can I just clarify, uh, are you still photographing Harry and Megan or have you stopped that? Oh, well, I mean, if I see them, I certainly would photograph them. Yeah. Okay. But mo- okay. most importantly, uh, um, I've relaunched the, the tour. Okay. And it we, and it, it's okay. on Instagram. I don't, I don't think the, Sam Markle is going to be buying a ticket somehow, but many may, many may. Carl Larson, Samantha yeah. Markle, thank you both so much.